What is Moonin? Moonin is a project funded by the European Commission under its seventh framework program. Its aim is to develop and verify a system to enable autonomous shipping. Unmanned vessels must comply with COREC. The risk of collision must be minimized to ensure a safe voyage. Navigational and safety sensors are used to search for objects. Conventional shipping is profiting too. This video serves to inform you about the merits of Moonin, highlight our achievements, gather future innovations, and virtually take you to Norway to participate in the in-situ tests that have been conducted to verify the lookout. Autonomous and unmanned vessels are seen as a key element for a competitive and sustainable European shipping industry in the future. The research project Munin will contribute to the realization of the vision of autonomous and unmanned vessels. It aims to develop and verify a concept for an autonomous ship, which is defined as a vessel primarily guided by automated onboard decision systems, but controlled by a remote operator in a shoreside control station. Developing and validating a suitable mixture of remote and automated technology for ships is the core task of the Moonin project. The objective of the Moonin project is to develop and verify a concept for unmanned dry bulk carrier. This concept does not only foresee an autonomous control mode, but also the possibility to directly control the vessel from a shore control station. However, within the current test setup, the autonomous mode of the watchkeeping system shall be tested in the Norwegian waters. The lookout can detect and identify a floating object of standard container size, a partly submerged object of standard container size, as well as a life raft. The test is conducted with the NSO Crusader, an offshore supply vessel of the Norwegian Coastal Administration. For the uh, in situ test, we used an emergency towing vessel called the uh, NSO Crusader. She's about uh, 70 meters long and uh, her uh, mast range about 20 meters above the sea surface. Uh, she has equipped with a standard navigational uh, radar, X band and S band radar. Uh, in addition to the radar system, she is equipped with a stabilized platform uh, with a long range daylight camera and a cool, high-sensitivity infrared camera. During the test in Tromsø area with calm water, good visibility and a light breeze, the setup is used to investigate the detection of passing ships. A fast rescue boat and a buoy are launched to simulate a small pleasure craft and a person in the water. The NSO Crusader passes by and tries to detect identify and track the objects with a newly developed sensor setup. The results of the in situ test show that we were able to track the larger vessels out to the full range of the x radar system, which was 2.2 nautical miles. For the smaller vessels, the fast recovery vessels, we were able to track these out to 1.1 nautical mile. And for the smaller objects, we were able to track these out to a distance of 0.6 nautical miles. The first results of the in situ test look very promising, even though detection range and reliability must be further increased for a commercial system. Besides its application on the unmanned vessel, the advanced sensor module can also be implemented on short term on conventional ships to assist the mariners in their tedious watches and thus to increase safety at seas. For further information, visit our website www.unmanned-ship.org.